You're live. I'm live. You know what? This is so small. This isn't like having the phone right in my face. I got to put on the old spectacles. I'm old like that. Finally going live. You know what? Screw it. I turned on the music anyways. Maybe not that loud to where they can't hear it. Whoa, crap. Where they can't hear it. You know what I mean? We are live on YouTube. I'll be good to heck. Well, that ain't good. There goes Jeff Burton's card. Should have known. I should have known. All right, we'll leave it there. All right, let's see. Who are we rolling with so far? Let's see what we got to do. Hit that button. We got me. That's it. Not John's in here. John Mueller. He wanted that A team. <laughs> he wanted that A team. Van to go on. Drink check. Got Mountain Dew, of course. Got the truck series. NOS truck series coming soon. Looking forward to that. Uh, we have one of the Hot Wheels um, NASCAR style trucks in there right now. That Circle Trucker uh, by JJ Roberts. He will be racing. Is it tomorrow or the day after that? Is it day three or four? I think it's day four. Yeah, day four. Um, day three will be headlined by the number one seed in that uh, section of the bracket is uh, Ghost Jerker and the Hershey's Funny Car. So far, the funny cars have uh, fared pretty well, must say. Um, I just felt like uh, Josh's would come out of uh, that end of the bracket, but the turbo, I don't know, man. Still continues the surprise, so we shall see. And that Scion was fast, but we still, I mean, against that Jaguar, still untested. But um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, tomorrow, uh, let's see, who else we got off the top of my head? Tomorrow. All right, here's the entries for tomorrow. So we got uh, Ghost Jerkers, Hershey's Funny Car, up against um, Dirty Deeb's Porsche GT3 RS. We have Kyle Newton Suzuka Chosen One versus um, Manny's Plymouth Arrow. Manny from Ghost Jerker. Uh, we have the Pro Stock Camaro sent in by JJ Roberts against Dave Akers Dodge A100. That should be a good one. And then we have Head Starter, also by uh, Kyle Newton, against Ken Castile's Gazella. That should be a good one, too. See, I need to click off that, I think. There we go. So some action-packed racing. And then uh, after that, we got uh, just one more, one more round of the opening 32, and then we're on to the Sweet 16. Yeah, that Maserati 18, man. That was a good race. Thought either one of them could have went when the won the whole thing, but when you face each other, it's gonna be kind of hard. Do the do. You got it, Dave Aker. There we go. Now we're starting to see chat. Those day two races were great. I have a truck coming in the mail from eBay right now for that series. Nice. Head starter will be tough. Yeah, that's big old hunking metal. I think he's going to be tough too. Um, I would say day two, definitely it top day one for sure. I mean, just that Maserati, uh, 18 race alone. Um, Porsche came and put up a pretty good fight considering where the two qualified that Honda turbo and the Porsche came in, uh, 
Could have went either way. The Porsche 26, ranked 26, going into it. Honda Turbo 7th. Um, Fire uh, Firebird funny car looks strong, too. So I think tomorrow's tomorrow's probably most competitive race. I probably have to say um, I know Manny's Plymouth Aero qualified pretty bad in terms of funny cars are fast. I mean, everybody knows that fast on the track and fast in the uh, terms of hot wheels as well, but it didn't qualify, but 20th. And then the Suzuka chosen one 13th. So that'll probably be the featured matchup tomorrow. Uh, just expect as these rounds go later and later that the racing will become more competitive. So to the first uh, two rounds of this bracket here of the opening round, we haven't had uh, to go to a third race in any of the matchups. So I'm sure that'll change as we, as we move forward. And, it, you know, some of these, it might, it might take a while before we get somebody to win two in a row. But we shall see. It's up for grabs right now. I still, my, my pick is still the Caddy 16, Cadillac 16 until somebody beats it. But, <laughs> It's, it's got to go up against John's Plymouth Arrow. And, you know, that's that's a tough test right there in itself. And, of course, awaiting whoever. I just don't see the Corvette Summit getting past that Chevelle. That Chevelle looks strong. That one came out of nowhere. Nobody was talking about it. And I, I be honest, I wasn't talking about it. I didn't even think about it. I know because when that 70 shell Chevelle first came out, it was metal and metal in the late 90s. And now it's metal and plastic. So. You know, <laughs> feature mail in, get a first edition or even um, I don't know if the second second edition was metal on metal, but that'll be a good one for sure. All right. We have a uh, video audio quality, both good as I spit. Good one. Open somewhere down the line. Use this. Yeah, that's from the Dollar Tree. Yep, good, sweet. First time going. I've been I've been doing the Instagram live quite often lately. Um, I know the the two biggest differences so far. I'm working on a screen like this as opposed to this. But for me, I had to put them. It's harder to see. <laughs> Ironically enough, it's harder to see, especially with thirty glasses. Harder to see the chat in here than it is on the Instagram one. I have to put the music going, so I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Probably YouTube won't pick up on it. We'll see. I don't know. I want to roll the dice on that one. I like the kind of the freedom you can do with Instagram compared to YouTube, but I mean, this is cool too. Two subs away from 600. Need to get to 1,000. I'm easily there to re-monetize the channel. Uh, with the hours watched, got that no problem now. I knew that was going to be the easier of the two. 400 subscribers, man, that's that's a lot to get for a niche channel and a small channel like mine. But I want to get there. Um, and as soon as we can, I can I can start offering like more giveaways and stuff like that. And the more the mail ins are definitely going to be there too. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, and I have another, I have a extra plan. For mail-ins, uh, for those uh, who don't get a chance to get a car in or or whatever the reason may be, um, behind me in some boxes, I have cars that were given to me by a relative who uh, wants to get rid of them. So I figure this would be an easier way to forget offer up and all that malarkey. I don't even want to mess with it so they can try to get 50 cents for a car, 25 cents. I'm not playing that game. So we shall see. I have to open them up. Maybe I'll maybe I'll even open up one of those. I don't know. See, that's a, going off on different tangents here. This is one of the good things about doing live on here is from what I understand, there's no time limit. Whereas Instagram, you got an hour and then it's, you know, <laughs> they don't tell you unless I set a timer or something. They don't tell you in those until there's 30 seconds remaining and then you're kind of scrambling at the end. I've fallen into that trap several times. So. Trying to avoid that. 
All right, let's open up some boxes now. This one comes Julius Harris. I have to thank him for, uh, and you know, I'm always trying to make the races, we're always trying to make the races better. Uh, and it's something I kind of noticed in qualifying, but sometimes it takes for me to, you know, hear a suggestion in the comment section. And Julius, uh, who's been watching the channel for quite a while now, commented about uh, the, the Bristol track kind of whipping around. I blame that on Nick Devers too. His cars are heavy, <laughs> especially in that main event. Um, but what? Getting that comment, you know, I kind of got my button gear and trying to get that fixed sooner, like as in for the NOS race rather than wait till uh, both series go back there later on the season. So thanks to the five million rocks I have in the front yard, I was able to use some of those to brace the track. And I think it made a world of difference. I think the racing was really good. Rico Singleman just kicked some butt. I mean, it's, it's kind of shocking how some of these cars and I've I've noticed this last season when I was just doing the NOS series, how some of these cars run really good on straights. And when it comes to that bank stuff, they don't do as well. And I mean, we saw that, I think with, um, Manny's car in, uh, Cooter McGavin, even, uh, ghost car and bullet McQueen didn't run as well with those high banks at Bristol. Whereas, you know, they they handled well, but they also flew pretty good down Daytona. And that's another track I'm definitely going to be working on. Didn't use the didn't use the do everything pliers to brace the track. No. Didn't use the DI, I didn't use those. No. No, use rocks. And I use my hands. That's why I, in that 3D bot maker, um, starting gate man that's gonna that's gonna change a lot of things for me uh i can't wait to use that i did a little live thing on um on instagram earlier with it and it's you gotta check them out if you haven't already 3dbotmaker.com if you like racing cars like i do he has a lot of cool stuff on there and uh check him out on etsy just go to 3dbotmaker.com and i'll take them to the etsy store i do believe and um, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's pretty soon to be getting in that um, three wide, three lane starter that works. I mean, you can attach orange track as I had demonstrated. Uh, no, I didn't. I did not do that. I did it earlier. You can attach orange track to it, but it's made designed specifically more so for the fat black track. So check it out because it's awesome. And I love, I love not having to put up bricks <laughs> with the finish gate anymore because the uh, feet just slip right on there. Bam, you're done. It is five million times more easy and it's just, it makes the finish area look a lot nicer. All right, there you go from 3D Bot Maker. It will be available tomorrow. So check it out, 3dbotmaker.com. You got to check it out. Check him out on YouTube too because he's, Got some really sick videos out right now. Who likes Evanescence? They're on the radio right now. Can anybody even hear the radio? Or is it for my benefit only? YouTube won't strike me down. Much like the Emperor wanted Luke to do that to Vader. Luke was like, nah, I ain't doing that. It's my pops. I can't hear it. All right, cool. Well. Yes, I can't get busted. I think I maybe I'll alternate um, YouTube and, and Instagram live and all that stuff. Yes, finish line feet worked perfect. And you gotta remember too. I got uh, wake me up, wake me up inside. Yep, that's what's playing right now. Uh, you gotta remember too. I have a driveway. It's got a slope to it. And I tested it with six cars. I tested it um, this morning, as a matter of fact, too, with the NASCARs. And six cars, two cars, whatever. It holds up, doesn't budge, doesn't move a bit. I thought maybe with a slant, I thought, all right, well, let's try it out. And nope. 
pass with flying colors. In addition to that, you look on 3dbotmaker.com. Um, not only does it have the feet, but it also has razors. So your monster trucks will go right underneath it. I'll be showing those off too uh, in the days to come. But for now, let's take a look. Uh, unless I cut my stomach here. Get away from the body. Nah. Live on the edge here. Julius Harris. Let's see what he's rolling with here. I know you. Uh, should be a NASCAR in here. Yeah, well packed. With the bubble wrap. Let's see. We got some notes here. We got some notes. We got some bubble wrap. Let's see. Let's adjust the screen. There we go. Perfect. This, this car was customized after my high school. <laughs> and my area code is the rear plate. Nice. Let me know what you think. All right. Oh, nice. Oh, this is sick. Let's take a look at this, guys. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Let's be gentle with it. There we go. Nice. Scotch tape. Nice. We got the Glenville tar blooders. That is interesting. Nice. Take a look at it. This sent in from Julius Harris. Nice. Hey, you know what this is? Freaky fast. This is a uh, Harvick's car. Customized. Nice. Very cool. All right, this guy is going out, and there's the logo right there. Let's try to get a let's try to get a good look at it here. I've never heard of these guys. The tar blooders? That's interesting. Let's take a look at the roof. The roof is on fire. Is that gonna come? Yeah, it's backwards, huh? Yeah. Of course. What a fool. What a fool I am. Let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, there he is. He's got his last name. On the trunk, Harris. Yeah, this is Harvick's ride. <laughs> nice. He's representing the 216. All right. He is in. He'll be in for Darlington. That's where we're racing next. I think I'm going to keep it in the baggie for now. Yeah, this NASCAR series, this YouTube Cup, I should say, it's a... Uh, I didn't expect to get <laughs> seriously. I'd like, I don't know if anybody follows on uh, Instagram. I thought maybe I'd get 10, maybe 15 cars. You know, there'd been a lot more interest in it than I had thought. And here's proof positive right here. This comes to me from Nick Devers. Oh, wait, I'm not done yet. How rude. We're not done yet. <laughs> We're still on Julius Harris. I forgot to set it down over here. I'm not used. This is a different setup than what I'm used to with. Uh, um, this is a different setup than what I'm used to doing on Instagram. All right. This one here. All right. This is for the prize package or giveaway. Oh, nice. Kenny Schrader. M&M's action. Is this numbered? Yeah, one of 8,640 8, made. So this is probably from 2003? 2003-ish? 2002? It says 2002 on the back of here, so one of the two. So that goes to the price package, courtesy of Julius Harris. So while I have them... Try not to drop this. I gotta go to this stinking garage. It's ridiculous. All right, so Julius Harris has donated those two. 
part of my armpit. Good thing I'm not wearing a tank top or something. These were submitted by Mike James. It's part of the price package. Two treasure hunts. We got the aerodynamic. Have not raced this guy. And Fangula. This is this is one of my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. The flat black. I love the Fangula. It kind of reminds me of Rob Zombie song Dragula. The wheels are sick. It's a treasure hunt. How can you go wrong? And it's a fantasy. Usually it's fantasy cars are like, hmm. But this one has turned into one of my favorites. So those are also going to whichever driver slash car owner uh, wins the championship in the YouTube Cup. I will have the updated points after race two coming out. Oh, I'm a fat ass back on here. And then also donated. This one is from Ken Castillo. Check him out on Facebook. He races. He's got some great commentary. Uh, give him a look at uh, on Facebook under the group Not Your Dad's Garage. And I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure he's the one who started that. I can't say for sure or not, but he's donated this Barrett Jackson stacker here. 69. Yep. Boss 429. That's sick. So we got some awesome. And then of course I'm going to be throwing in stuff. I'm going to be throwing in things as well. So whoever wins, I mean, they could literally just say, I will keep this and put it into NASCAR series as another ride for them. And quite honestly, guys, we're at the point where we're really going to need going into next season because it's, the amount of cars we're going to need a YouTube cup and then a secondary kind of like the Xfinity series. And maybe whoever, whenever you guys send in more cars, like for next season, that's where you start off at. And then eventually maybe make it up to um, the YouTube cup. I don't know. Get your thoughts on that. But um yeah, let's see. Since we last raced at Bristol for the YouTube Cup, and this is off the top of my head, King Castillo has sent in another car. Chef Squid 317 has sent in two cars. We got Julius Harris now with a submission. Um, we had a four-car team come in from Mr. Charles. We had another car, I believe, from Kyle Newton. The, the, yeah, his brother, Party Blazer. Uh, I had another one, too. Um, who sent in the True X one? So we're up to, like, four to five cars now. Can I be in a car? Uh, if you send in one, you can be. <laughs> For sure. Nice. All right. Oh, we're still not done. All right, Rhino, please enter these two in the contest to win the super treasure hunt. Well, like I told them, the deadline had passed, but like I told them, there will be, and I have not raced either one of these, and this one is sick. There is definitely going to be more contests coming. So here's what he sent in. Short card. I don't see any short cards. This is a 17 Pagani Waira Roadster. Oh, yeah, John Miller. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm getting so many. It's I'm going to start writing them on notepads. Usually I got a pretty good memory for it. I've got two. I was going to get you to you after your vacation. Sweet. Sounds good, Dave Akers. You'll be in. I do believe one of them is a Mountain Dew car. What car should I send? You can send any NASCAR car. It can be uh, it can be an old one. I say like Grandpa had some hanging around. It can be an old one like this, Richard Petty. It doesn't have to be in the package. It can be loose too. It can be a custom, but it's got to be it's got to be from a stock car body. 
Don't send in 124 scales. It's got to be a 164 scale. For example, right here, this was sent in by Ken Castillo from the Lionel series. These are out. You can get these out right now. This one, John Mueller, True X. So you can go on eBay, you can go local store, and I might have a means of also, like I said before, uh, same relative gave me some NASCAR ones too, so that might be another option instead of me trying to dump them on offer up or something like that. All right, so these will be entered for the next contest then. First two entries. The 2017 Pagani Huayra Roadster. Is that one from this year? That's what the back looks like. Is that a J case? That can't, yeah, that is. It has to be from this year because it has the card art. It's got that new loop de loop stuff on it. And then, love this car. 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Let's see. Would cars from the '60s be okay? That are, yeah, definitely. I have a, I have some of those. I have never, I haven't raced them. I don't know how they run. Uh, that'd be a mystery to me. But yeah, they're definitely okay in my book. As long as they start with a NASCAR, and I think going into next season, it's going to be, um, you know, however you want to cut. As long as there's absolutely no, no weight or anything added to the outside of the car other than custom paint, numbers, stuff like that, uh, tampos, decorations, whatever. It can be any sort of uh, wheel, axle, whatever. I don't care. The only thing you have to keep in mind, custom is, and when we have El Recos, so you have to keep that in mind. That way uh, they do wreck. You don't want them breaking and have me be the mechanic because that's not going to be a good thing. So thank you, Julius. Thank you for uh, sending in. That's cool. Sending this in. Custom NASCAR. You're in for Darlington. And you already have two entries in for the next giveaway. Um, slash mail, I should say mail in. And adding to the prize package. With the Kenny Schrader. I think this is rubber tires, but I can't tell for sure. I always liked it. The M&Ms used to always grab their 164 scale when they had uh, um, when they had the 164 scale Halloween's M&Ms come out. All right, let's see. Um, heavy. Yeah, the classic series is cool. Right here, you want to send Ethan Storm. You want to send. This is going to be backwards. You want to send your cars to Rhino, P.O. Box 577976, Modesto, California, 95357. Here, I'll type it in here as well. Whoops. Uh, I always forget the damn P.O. Box number. Not used to type on this computer. It's ridiculous. Nine. Uh, nope. See, I already screwed up. Five seven seven nine seven six. Five seven seven nine seven six. Yeah. Modesto, California. Nine five three five seven. Bam. Ba job. Booyah. Five seven seven nine seven six. Yeah. I'm gonna double check my work here. Nine five three five seven. Yep. All right. That's where you can send them right there. What do you guys think? If it was head to head here. What do you think would win? These cars and, and my track are untested. Basically, any new Hot Wheels, any new castings, I haven't tested because I've only raced uh, 
except for the ones that you guys have sent in. I've only raced King of the Misfit cars. Figured out what sub four RA means earlier today. Oh, you did? What does sub four RA mean? The Mustang? I think the Mustang will win. That's a sick car. Love the graphics on it. Since 78. That is sick. What does sub four RA mean? I've had that same name on YouTube ever since the YouTube came in 2005 or six, whatever it was. I didn't start making videos until I threw a few on to make fun of guys in my fantasy football league in 2012. Those are the first ones I put on. They're still on there somewhere. Um, but I didn't start making these diecast videos until 2015, I think July of 2015. So that's when I really consider the birth of the channel. However, I screwed up. My wife got me the six lane raceway in 2008 and I still have it in the package somewhere in here. And that was my initial plan was to uh, race cars and put it on YouTube. And I screwed up. I should have. I don't think anybody else was doing it at the time, but I got, besides my regular job, I got into uh, coaching cross country and track and just didn't have time. And to send it sometime this week. Sweet. Yeah. Fantasy football. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I should have started it then. It would have been a lot different. I'm not even sure if race grooves was on then. But I've been watching him since uh, should at least seven, eight years. And then Ghost Jerker, short time after that, I've been watching those two guys the longest. And Faster the Dragster, I've been watching him a long time too. All right. Get out of your bug. We got the box from Nick Devers. We're going to bust this open. Whoops. I'm not sure what that means. I'm still learning here. Let's click off of that. Faster the dragster. I usually play in eight leagues and you know. Oh man. I'm in two, and that's like one too many. I need to knock it down to just one. I made it to the championship one of them this year, but got smoked like I figured I would. Let's see here. Make this a little bit easier, maybe go like so. Still, the best way to ship a ton of cars here is priority mail flat rate. open here you can read all right cool thank you for putting that on there nick all right let me see how i can do this here there we go i don't like any addresses popping up i don't care about mine obviously because that's where you send in the cars and it's a peel box so it doesn't matter man all right cool let's see we got a long List here. You can read this live. All of the loose cars you can use however you want. Sweet. He will find two cars wrapped in tissue. One is the developmental ride of Matthew Devers. I would like him to race half of what YouTube races are left. You can pick which ones. All right. The other is the new Wendell Scott for the last race of this season and all of next season. Please don't reveal Wendell's new car until last race of this season. You'll find an Indy car that will be Nick Deaver's Indy 500 entry. Hear that? Indy 500. I will be doing an Indy 500. You want to put in, uh, and I'm gonna. I'm not gonna limit it to any uh, official Indy style car. It can be any Indy car. Um, I don't have any on me right now. I'd have to hunt for him. 
but uh, uh, I don't have any. I'll make it more official later on, but uh, like the Hot Wheels 500 and uh, um, drawing a blank. What's the what's these new winning formula or whatever? Um, or what's that one that's a super treasure hunt right now? Obviously not. Don't don't send that unless you want to. Don't send that one in. Um, Holy cow, we eat leeks. How can you manage that? We eat leeks. Indy. Yes, we will be doing Indy. Okay, let's get back to the note. In sandwich bags, there is a pastrami and Swiss. What? No, just kidding. In sandwich bags, there is a truck series team. Full time drivers, Toyota Rally, Bill Lester. Oh. I remember Bill Lester. <clears throat> Blue 09, Matthew Devers. White 09, Michelle Devers. Red number 80, part-time drivers slash full-time truck. Your pick from my YouTube pick, guys. Next sandwich. Back new YouTube cup team. Holy crap. 43, Richard Petty. Johnny Lightning Chrysler, Tim Flock. Plymouth Superbird, Donnie Allison. Number 28, Davey Allison. Number 21, Buddy Baker. Oh, remember good old Buddy Baker last season. <laughs> and that Valvoline car. A lot of people picked him. Very first race. And I thought, oh, maybe this guy's going to be fast. Tick, 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 tick. I, I didn't, when I did qualifying, I timed him with the calendar. I didn't time him with the stopwatch. One more sandwich bag of Indy cars for the Indy 500 drivers can be determined by you. Number 43, serial cars, IROC series. Idea you can use, Rich, you can use or Richard Petty driving experience. All right. Dude, this is a, this is going to be crazy. Holy crap. Sweet. Well, since these are like basically banned in California now, I'm gonna sell them on offer up. No, I'm just kidding. I will recycle them. All right, as the light flickers, let's see. I might have to revert back to the note here. Ribbit. All of the loose cars you can use however you want. All right. So let's start it off. Bobby Hamilton. Yes, this is a lot of freaking cars. That's just, that's not even including the loose cars. Bobby Hamilton. It's a nice looking car. The iconic number four car. Next up. Dude, what is this car? Is this a generic one? It's pretty sick. It is a generic one. Duralube with SR3 technology. Nice. NASCAR with all the rules is close to IROC now. Yeah, pretty much. You might as well just make like, not even do Toyota, Chevy, Ford anymore. Just create some generic car. Bring it out there. Or have one make just sponsor the whole series and... Oh, here's some Chris Cornell. If you can hear it on the radio, if you can, chime in down below or over to the side. I'm used to saying down below. Oh, all right. This is cool. This is how I do my developmental drivers. I pick cars like this, kind of commemorative cars or cars that don't have a driver's signature on the hood. And that's how I get my developmental drivers. So this will be a quote, uh, would definitely qualify as one. I've tried to restrain from using the same number in my NOS racing. And Scott Riggs drives a 10 car right now, but I might be lifting that rule for my series just to get a little bit more variety. Take go home. Yes. All right. Nice. This one does have Bill Elliott. The 94 that when your Swolf drives, 
in the NOS series does not have Bill Elliott's signature. That's why I use it. It's good old Ronald McDonald. My hand for my creator. I blew it. Chris Cornell came to Modesto a couple years ago now. Uh oh, this one has a lazy back driver's side wheel. Uh, yeah, it's a little stuck. Came to Modesto a couple years ago, blew it. I thought about going, eh, tickets were like even 100 bucks in the nosebleeds. Here's a Terry Labonte that has seen better days, but I'll tell you what, that Rusty Wallace car, it beat the heck that I raced in the NOS series. Somehow he just consistently, he's definitely not one of the fastest cars, but he's hes probably the most consistent, consistent slow car that we have. Ah, oh, here's a nice one. Look at this. Elliot Sadler. This is team caliber. I thought so because it's heavy and has rubber tires. Elliot Sadler. Air Force. Oh, that's uh, what you call it. It's one of those stealth planes. It's very sick. Maybe Lenny Rogers can come back with a new number 21 partner. We shall see with this guy. All right, let's check out the comments real quick. Do you have a number 50? Do you have a number 50 for your the YouTube Cup? YouTube Cup? I don't care. It can be... I know there's a couple cars that have the same number. There's actually Vinny Nightlife and King Castillo. Vinny <laughs> Nightlife and King Castillo drive the same car. It doesn't even have a number, so it doesn't matter. It can be the same number. Uh, we have two number 99s. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Texas Terry. Yep, Texas Terry is right. They believe he won a championship driving this five car. 93, 4, 5. Could be mistaken. I think we talked about this before. Uh, so why did Ghost Jerker originally drive the 01 for a race? Then Guillotine took over. I always wondered. Well, when I first, before I even decided to do a league, I just did a NASCAR race just to see what kind of interest and for me, even for myself, how fun it would be. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this next car is kind of cool. Just to see for me, even how fun it would be. And so I led everybody kind of like the King of the Misfits. Everybody got to pick a car. Um, only one person per car. Ghost Jerker picked the old one car probably because he knows better and knew that was a fast car. Maybe just picked it out of pure randomness. I don't know. Uh, and so after that, and then we just did a one on one matchup. I had him go down the track and then uh, seemed to be some interest in there. And I had fun doing it. So that's when I decided to go forward a couple months later. And then and that's when we got the actual drivers or developmental drivers in there. Let's see. Everything. Do you know genitals? Genitals? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. I'm not going any more in that one. <laughs> you got me. All right. Who remembers when Kyle Bush? <laughs> you got me. Kyle Bush drove the five. This is a custom Kyle Bush Lowe's car. That's kind of cool. Doesn't look like it rolls great, but ah, eh, well, never know. It rolls a lot better than I thought it would. All right, drink check at home. Mountain Dew here. Doesn't look like Mountain Dew. Looks like something different. You got Leonard Skinner on the radio. Who I've been looking to get that Kyle Busch car for a long time. This is a special Kyle Busch car. This is a custom. I like it, though. They did a good job with it. A better job than I would do. Pretty cool. Uh, for what I understand, Tony Stewart's been kind of looking to get out of that 20 car and go back to his 14. So, hmm. Possible change? 
don't know. Stay tuned. I don't like spreading rumors and whatnot, but ha <laughs> ha. Who could forget Dr. OBGYN? See on, on my version and this one too, because I think this is the same thing. No driver signature. So I don't know if it's Adam Petty or Kyle Petty's or whose it is. Same. This is the same as mine. So it probably came. Nothing on the base that would suggest anything. So this might be the one that came with the serial. Sounds pretty loud, but it rolls. All right. This has no driver name. What else is this? The rubber tires. It is. 2000 Monte Carlo. Normally it would be Bobby Hamilton in the square D. Test this one out. Got a little rust, but I think he might be all right. All right, next up. Oh, this is sick. Looks like some sort of test car. Dale Jr. test car. This was uh, Dale Earnhardt. Some, I think Dale Earnhardt Sr. commemorated a car of some sorts. If you like custom diecast, check out Top Shelf Diecast on Instagram. I have a Casey Kane Pokemon Go Car and a Kyle Busch Rowdy NASCAR that I had. Nice. On OB Jones' car, if it's a Chevy, it's Adam Petty. If it's a Dodge, it's Kyle Petty. Well, looks like we're rolling. It's got to be a Monte, Monte Carlo. Got to be. Scratch the heck, but that's not a Dodge front end. All right, so this has got to be Kyle's end. I mean, uh, it's got to be Adam's end. That is sure as heck is not a Dodge front end. Rick Flair. They're going to be talking to Rick Flair. Woo! The nature boy. Nice. Those are racing champions. Is this? Yeah, it's rubber tires. John Deere, is this uh, Chad Little? Chad Schlittle? Red Cold River. 97. Fuzio, how's it going, buddy? No, Kurt Busch never drove John Deere. This is Chad Little. John Deere. Stalin, bro, Allen. Losing right, jet flying, crazy son of a gun. Here's the gold dust, 94. Uh, hot Wheels. It says Hot Wheels. Manufactured for McDonald's. So this is a Happy Meal, 94. They have several of these. Matter of fact, I think uh, Alimony. <laughs> I think old Alimony is uh, McDonald's 44 car. Let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Hmm? Sale? <laughs> nice. I raced this car. This is the 81 uh, Thunderburner. I've raced this car in the King of the Misfits. Not like this, though. Pretty funny. Discount. New used car lot. 
sale. We're at 4,899 Skrill. I might put this guy in the King of the Misfits. New version. It's funny how the wheels stick out. That's how they are in all of them. This, yeah, he ran in one of the very first King of the Misfits. Uh, my copy did. Do you like Daryl Waltrip, the driver? Daryl Waltrip was my favorite driver when I was a kid because he drove the Mountain Dew cart and the Gatorade one. I liked him. Still like him. All right, next up. What the heck is this? Is this real? I mean, it's real, obviously, because I'm holding it, but Dirk West? I don't remember this guy. Is this a real driver? 95 car? Racing champions. Sanction. Huh. Dirk West. Well, fortunately, it doesn't roll. There, got the front wheels going. No, still not working. Let's see. Let's do that right there. I like the way that I do that right there. Ah, man. What's preventing him? The front wheels are smooth. I'm having issues with the back. Yep. They're rubbing. Rubbin's racing, Harry. Well, not when the wheels are rubbing against the metal. I'll have to figure out what we can do for that. I like the paint scheme on that, though. 95 car. Sanction. Don't even know what this is from. Any clue, anybody? Bueller. Tire going down. DW is awesome. Yes, he is. What is the limit of cars for Misfit Race? None. <laughs> One word. None. Misfit Races. I still haven't really, like, what is the, I mean, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. I'm not sure what that is. All right, we got Bobby Labonte, Interstate Batteries. Former 2000, he won the championship in the year 2000 in that same car. Maybe not the same car, was it? Yeah, they hadn't switched yet. He was still in the Pontiac, I do believe. Or did they switch? Were they into Chevy already? Huh. Ooh, Metallica. His best seasons were 99 to 2000. Yes, they were. Matter of fact, uh, 2011 when Trevor Bain won the Daytona 500, Bobby Labonte was right there. Not to mention in 98, he finished second to senior in the 500. I have a trailer that looks just like that car I have. I have a trailer that looks just like that car I have. Like this one? They made quite a few with the interstate. All right, let's see what else is in here. Wood Brothers 21 car, Trevor Bain. Yep. Hey, speak of the devil, there's Tony Stewart. Yep. Still in the Pontiac here. This is one of his early rides. Obviously, if it's a Pontiac, but this must be 2000 or 90 something. Action. 2001. Right? Yeah. Yep. 2001. Where's the Labonte? This is an older one. This is 96 on the Labonte. Sad but true. Whoa. This Stewart runs pretty good. We shall see. 
Next up. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how this guy runs. Running on tech power. The 86 car of D Driver. Is this Donald Driver? Former wide receiver of the Green Bay Packers. Is that what he's doing these days? He's racing these little beater uh, speedway cars at your local fair. I don't know. We might have to give this guy a shot. <laughs> give this Mick a shot. Every Mick deserves a chance. That's what the King of the Misfits is all about. Almost looks like it's my eyeballs. Packers is my team. Well, we all know who I like. And if you don't, well, I can't get to it right now anyways. Nope. All right, let's see what else we... Oh, look at this. This is sick. This, no wonder this is Racing Champions. Here's the car cover for it. Nice. Let's see if I can get it on there without being a fool. Steady, steady. There we go. So if we got a rain delay, the 97 is covered like a glove. So I go for the Chicago Bears. The Bears. Allen Robinson, good pickup for the Bears. Actually, for the Packers, that was, in my book, that was a pretty good pickup with Jimmy Graham. Kind of glad to get rid of him in the NFC West because even though he wouldn't do anything against anybody else, he'd kick our butt every damn time. Man, we got a Packer fan and a Bears fan in here. Yeesh. Not good. See, I'm coming up on 57 minutes right now. My butt would be kicked off here real soon if it were... Uh, Instagram. All right, next up. <laughs> what the heck is this? Ford Thunderbird. This is a matchbox. So he wouldn't really technically. That's sick. Ford Thunderbird. 93. <sighs> mm, yeah, he wouldn't qualify this season. Mm. Maybe next season. I don't know. This is a sick ass car, though. Evan. Evan Carp. Looks like the name. Evan Carr. Evan Carr. That's sick. The roll. Oh, yeah. Rolls good. Yeah. The only matchbox I have been allowing have been uh, the NASCAR style ones, the or even the Days of Thunder ones. Ah, speak of the devil, here's this is him, right? Yeah, got Daryl Waltrip in the '66 Kmart car, blue light special. Pretty cool. Rubber tires seems to roll fairly well. Did a diecast collection video on YouTube live and it let me go for a long time into the video on my own about 15 minutes or two hours. Yeah, I'm at 59 minutes right now. Uh, so in that aspect, that's a lot better. Then um, having to cut it short and by con Dios, don't have to worry about that. Good thing because Nick Deaver sent like five million cars. Still digging through the loose ones right now. <laughs> this is a good one. Robert Presley, the 77 Jasper car. This was always one of my favorite cars. Paint schemes, no matter how they did it. Got quite a few of the 77 ones. I don't know if I have this one, this particular one right here. Pretty sure I don't. Seems to be a pretty decent roller. 
Next up. Hour late and a buck short. It's Mike James. Need a Jimmy Spencer. Now I have a I have a couple Spencer cars. Uh, I got him in the camel. Camel car, 23 car. And I have a matchbox one I just pulled not that long ago. Mountain Dew fans unite. Yep. Drink check. Got my dew right here. Looks like it's glowing like I'm drinking kryptonite. Mike James. He withstands the A-team van. I said that was going to be the matchup, the best matchup in the round of 32, and it didn't fail, man. That was a good one. That was a great race. Two cars that pre-qualifying, I thought either one could win the whole thing. Maserati is the one left. All right, here is... Uh, This label that does shredder. This is labeled a Dodge Charger. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just a circle tracker. What do you guys think about using these in the YouTube Cup? They'd have to be customized, though. They have to be painted some way, shape, or form. What's going on, Mike? Welcome. I almost couldn't watch so close. Yeah. That was a close one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if we're talking uh, just down the track, the old school finish, seven and a half feet, eight feet, whatever it is into it, you wouldn't have won. But that's not where we're racing. We're racing quarter mile. So what do you guys think about allowing these in the YouTube Cup? It is a stock car. I might just, going forward, I might just say, as long as it's got a window net, it's got a NASCAR body, it, 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 I'm going to allow it. Ric Flair. I wonder what the hell that's all about. The Nature Boy. Yeah, they got Ric Flair going on there. Oh, yeah, the honcho man's going to get a little upset that they didn't invite him. Oh, yeah. Let's see. To be honest, I almost sent that one. Okay. Okay. Sure, I mean, they'll be kind of fast, so I guess, yeah. I almost... Don't want the only Hot Wheels I've been allowing so far. NASCAR, the actual this is a Hot Wheels, actual NASCAR Hot Wheels, which came out just for a limited time from the this is what 2000. This is a 99. They only came out from like 90 mid to late 90s to the very early 2000s, maybe three years, four years or so. So I don't know. Kind of, oh, yeah, it does have Dodge right on the hood. What a fool. Didn't even see it. Leeway. I do have the Danica Patrick Hot Wheels car. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I think I have that one, too. Oh, cool. I think I have one. This can be a developmental driver. This thing's huge, though. This isn't like 164 scale. The 98 action car. This is sick. That is cool. Well, it could be a developmental driver. These things. Let's try to get a comparison here. Look at this. I don't know if that'll even do it justice. Obviously, a lot longer. I wonder if it'll even fit on the track. It's wider. Let's see. I got orange track right here. Orange track. Orange track. Car. Orange track. All right. You want to subscribe to the Sub4 RA channel? I need to get to a thousand subscribers, and I'm talking by tomorrow so I can monetize my videos and make a dollar an hour. 
He fits. I'm surprised. Yeah, it looks like it's going to eat the 70s. <laughs> it does. That's crazy. Does the hood come up? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Right. Trunk does not come up to reveal the fuel cell, though. Can you guys hear the music? I wonder if I'm going to get a strike. I don't have any, so it'll be a learning lesson. It runs, put it in. The only thing I'm trying to avoid are getting like this right here. And I've gotten a couple entries. I need, need to address individual. Getting like a T-Bird stalker. And, oh, here's my NASCAR entry. I don't want any of that mumbo jumbo. And I specifically have said that. Yeah, that's not fun. I want stock cars. This isn't a stock car. Uh, it says T-Bird stalker, but does it have a net on the side? Does it? Crap, it does. Well, hmm. I don't know. It just opens up the debate on that, though. How many seats does it have? How many seats does it have? That's a good question. That'll clarify things. Perhaps. Yeah, you know what? This is a damn stock car. Oh, yeah, it's got a roll cage. I'm only seeing one seat in there. Kind of hard to tell, but. Hmm. Well, that went. There goes that statement out the window I just made. It happens. We're live. What can you do? What can you do about it, Mike? Uh, row, row, can of worms open. Yep. I'll delete that part. All right, moving right along. You guys hear the music? There's a 21. Morgan, another copy of Morgan Shepard. This one appears to be faster than the one I raced at the end of last season. I think this old guy's still at it, too, which is crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. We might have a ringer here. I don't know. You want to subscribe? No, I'm going to stop doing that. Dude, this guy's quick. Hmm. got uh this is racing champions take a look at bobby labani's racing champions lighter this one's black windowed out this one's not hmm here is this from this is 95 this one's 95 morgan shepherd is 95 bobby labani is 96 Or a Shepherd 21 dibs. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe old what's his face will come back after all. Maybe this will be Lenny Rogers the gambler. Put him in the 98. Or he could always ride. He could always be in the SR3. <laughs> Let me check out this guy. Where'd that piece of track go? Right here. I don't know. He rolls. What is this? I'm going to say that looks like a Ford Taurus. Or a lip bumper for orthodontia. It's like a Ford Taurus front end to me. I'm not Mr. Car Guru by any means. All right, next up. Oh, you can never have. Oh, this is a Matchbox one, though. Ford Thunderbird. I don't have a copy. This is 166 scale. Looks like it's 16 scale. I don't have a Mark Martin matchbox one. To destroy my sweater. Can anybody hear the music? 
Dude, this is ridiculous, man. Should have uh, a... <laughs> we got enough here to do uh, the Nick Devers Cup right here. That is crazy. Mark Martin. Has to fit on the track. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you're not going to win. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. You're not going to win, buddy. I'll soon be again. Who do you think wears Menards better, Blaney or Menard? The question is for everyone. Well, I don't think, uh, considering I've only watched the 500 so far this year, I'm probably not the best qualified to answer that one. Look at this. This is cool. Got my favorite driver of all time, Jeremy Mayfield. And the Mobile One Pegasus 12. This is the Ford. Yeah, Ford. Look at the colored chassis on the bottom. Ran uh, on the Instagram earlier this morning before uh, racing cars and the tournament. I ran, uh, I got it somewhere else. Uh, I ran that Kentucky Derby, Jeremy Mayfield. He won that one downhill portion, but he won it. All right. Let's see. Wish someone else drove 21 Woods Brothers car at Menards. Blaney is better, no doubt. Jeremy and Kane were still in the 9 Abbey. That'd be awesome. Not allowed. Will El Reco everyone? I wish Dodge was still running cars too. Yes. That would be great. Would love to have them back. This is a Buick LeSabre stock car. What the hell? <laughs> nice. Who the heck is this? This is sick. This is made in my car. My car. A bunch of birds made it. 24 Buick. Car Cardiac Kid. Since I just bought an 06 Stratus, I second the Dodge sentiment. Yep. Like to see them back in it. Just test them out on the old track. It is definitely, it's seen its fair share of El Recos, that's for sure. Wonder if Guillotine is behind any of them. All right. 5,000 bonus points, good for nothing. If you can comment over to the side, how many races has Guillotine finished? Keep in mind, he has been in, uh, we're not including when um, Ghost Shirker piloted the 01. So it's been a total of including the All-Star race last year and the Clash race this year. 10 races? Huh. See, look at right here. This is uh, which is this one? Mori bodyboards, Mach ninety seven. That wouldn't be allowed. This and this is kind of more what I'm talking about right here. There's no net. There's uh. But then again, there's only one seat in here. Crap, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. This guy would just kill the competition. I could put him in King of the Misfits. Straight shooter. 
Yeah. Kill him. I can't allow that. But look at this. this is, looks like it'd be a little brother. I guess that's not as bad a comparison as that 98 was with the uh, 77. All right. Let's see. Any more? Oh, crap. Yeah, we're still at it. This should be Michael Waltrip. Yeah, Michael Waltrip's Pennzoil Grand, uh, Grand Prix. Always like this Pennzoil one. Pretty much all the Pennzoils. Let's see. Mike James, you are correct. Two. Two. And he won them both. Daytona won us a straight shot. Now, when we do Talladega this year, it's a new track. It's kind of a whim track, and it's going to be helped by 3D Bot Maker. If you haven't seen the, that 3D Bot Maker dot com, uh, three wide, three deep starter, so you can put nine cars on the track and release it. If you have not seen that, check out, uh, if you're on my Instagram, check out Legion of Diecast, uh, my second live feed. I sent Hot Wheels, regular Hot Wheels, to prove it could even do those down there. Thing works awesome, man. Buick used to be in NASCAR at one time. Yep, they did. It was a long time ago, but I had never seen this before. And uh, not sure who makes it. Interesting. Maybe a sub Hot Wheels stock car mini feature race. <laughs> yeah. What to put on axles to speed up cars uh, faster than ever. Fa faster than ever. Faster than ever. Axles. Um, the axles. I'm giving away secrets. Like, but you can, I mean, you could look this stuff up. It doesn't matter. Um, axles off of the color changer cars because they're nickel plated. You could use those. Lincoln Park on the radio now. Famous Bristol wreck car. Famous Bristol wreck car. Oh, yeah, this one. This one? Is this the one that he drove that basically disintegrated? Was it the 30 car? When it hit the where that gate would open up for whatever reason they had it like that? Yeah, they, they got. If you haven't seen the YouTube video of Michael Waltrip trying not to knock stuff over. In the 30 car Pennzoil, um, it was during, was it qualifying or was it during practice? He basically hit the side of the wall um, where the, they had a gate that would open up. And he hit, his car hit it and it basically disintegrated. Amazing he made it out of there, especially being you know, draft tall as he is, six whatever he is. Oh, crap. Let's see. Uh, see, famous Bristol car. Ooh, 3D ball maker. I have a suggestion for him. Oh, what is the suggestion? A clip on finish line full. Hey, I like it. Yes, Mike James. That's a good one. I've given him a couple suggestions. I know he's got some stuff in the works. Um, his his product, and I have I have a few of them. His product is top notch. It's some of this Hot Wheels stuff, even out of the package, it's like, oh, I don't want to be too rough with it. But 3D Bot Maker stuff's pretty awesome. Have a chili bowl race, yes. Color changers are, yep, so never like the Maserati or Cadillac from the the Super T-Hunt race. It was in practice, okay. Good idea, Mike James. That reminds me of, I forgot the driver, but he hit the jet <laughs> Yeah. That's Pablo Montoya. Freaking idiot. Yeah, good old Montoya. Juan Pablo. And he made... Uh, pulled the page out of Cole Trickle's book when he hit that. All right, moving along. Hey, this is sick. Here's a new developmental driver, as long as it rolls good. It's loud, but check this out. This is from 96 Atlanta 
Purolator 500. Atlanta. Nice. I think I think what we should do. We should run a, all these cars in. We should do a Nick Deaver's uh, commemorative race before we actually put any of these out in uh, either their misery or no, in, uh, in um, the regular NOS racing or whatnot. Most of these are definitely usable for sure. Atlanta is a good track. Atlanta, to me, used to be better than what it is now, but I think that goes. It is 2 a.m. here. Time to go. Not as young as it used to be. Yep, I hear you, man. Take care. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Um, it's just being on the West Coast, it's hard for me to get in any earlier than what I do. Um, but I appreciate you tuning in. Check you later, John. Ah, here we go. This guy could run right now. So we do have Harvick in the 29. Here he is. In the 29 Pennzoil. Won the Daytona 500 and what was it? 2009. Beat Mark Martin right at the end. We'll see you, John. Yep. Yeah, well. well. Got a tire mark on the roof. <laughs> Made to move. Nice. Sweet. Dude, there's a ton of cars, man. Uh, here's one of the... Uh, kind of a cool one. Probably be as slow as molasses, but... Do you not know have the box tops? 43. Like the pencils up there. Pretty cool. I don't think he'll win a 500, but you never know. Let's see. Oh, there's one more. Hey, here's a clean version of Kenny Irwin. 28 Haviland. Almost dropped it. Butterfingers. Y'all like Dykes videos? Check out mine on my channel. All right, Kyle. Peace out, buddy. Talk to you later. Can hear one. Pretty good roller. Oh yes. For all the El Recos, we got another to match like James Rhino. I got that in the box too. That's sick. I'll have to race your guys, uh, the ones you sent in. This is a GMC wrecker, 1987. Mattel? Well, this has to be a newer one than this. All right, that's probably what it is. So Mattel, how long have they had uh, Matchbox license? 87 has to have been when the casting originated. I will be a new sub by the time you wake up. I will be a new sub by the time you wake up. I will be a new sub by the time you wake up. I mean, I'll get it. A new sub. You will be a new sub. You're going to be a new submarine? Hmm, pretty good roller. So we got... A new record. Had a new record. All right. There are a lot of instructions on this. I was saying. Oh. So too. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Need two more myself to get to 600. Need 400 more to get to 1,000. Oh, man. Need it. I got the, I got the minutes, the hours needed easy. All right. I'm starting y'all, but so you gotta go be here. <laughs> All right, let's see here. There are instructions here on how to do this. Oh crap! Still not even. Oh look at this. Nice. I'm not even done with the loose cars. 
Where'd the 12 go? Should have known. This is the race. Yep, racing champions. Keep talking about Ric Flair coming on here, but if you have a 97. Ninety six seven uh, Rock Station in Modesto, California. There we go. Nice. There's the Mayfield car cover. Sick. I don't know if I have one. Do now though. Nice. So we got. Uh, where did uh, Littles go? Here it is. 12 and the 97. Nice. These car covers came out, I think, around, or well, what year were these out? 2000. 2000. This is 2000. Yeah, it had to been. No, he ran the beginning of 2001, still in the 12 car. Looks like a stamp of 2000, and this is about the same. They produced those for a few years. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I have this one. Nice. Cold trickle. Look at this. See if it'll pick it up. The camera. Put it on camera. This is made by Applause. I picked one of these up at a thrift store a while back. Days of Thunder 1990 Paramount Pictures. It was pretty smooth. I don't know. We'll test her out. Uh, here's another Stewart. Is this the same exact one? Looks like it. Yeah, it's the same exact one. Except, I don't know if that <laughs> got the got yellowing. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Yellowing, oranging. Mm. This one doesn't roll as good as this other one. All right. Let's see what we got here. Holy smokes. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. We can't show that one. Let's start at the beginning. Matthew Devers, I would like him to race half of what you two races are left. You can pick which ones. All right. Is this it here? Yep, Matthew Devers. All right. I remember our trading paint series in the story. Yeah. Trading paint series. Yeah, they had some cool, cool ideas back then. A lot different than now. All right, cannot wait to see this one. Chin inches. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Yeah, it's racing champions. Autism speaks. That's awesome. We are lucky to have this car to race in the YouTube Cup. Let's get some of that tissue off of there. Nice. It's a nice looking car. Looking forward to racing this, and it feels like it's got some weight behind it. You know how Nick does it. Sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this guy will be fast. All right, so we got another YouTube Cup entry. Half of the races that are left, I haven't even really kind of determined how many will be. We have Darlington, and then we have, we're going to do Lowe's. 
We're going to do Lowe's once and then uh, Lowe's All-Star Race. want to do Talladega. And then maybe we'll do Talladega once and it'll be on the back half of the season. Maybe it'll be after Darlington. Maybe we'll do it like that. Classic era stock cars. Yeah, definitely. So if we do it like that, we'll have eight races plus the all-star race. Well, I wanted to try Dover this year. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'll have to think more about that. All right. Wendell Scott new car. I cannot reveal it specifically in here. Please don't reveal Wendell's new car until last race of this season. You'll find IndyCar that will be Nick Deaver's Indy 500 entry. Yes, we're going to be doing a, the Indy 500. Right here, Indy car. Oh, crap. Look at that. <laughs> this is a Johnny L. 1970, 1977 Indy car. Of course, numbered 80. Wow. Let's take a look at the on the track here. Whew. That was almost ugly. To be careful with it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. We might have a ringer already, guys. Nice. I will be putting that away safe and sound at the end of this broadcast. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dave Akers, you should try to set up a Sonoma race with the left and right. Yes. I wanted to do it this season. I just don't think it's going to happen because I need to get booster. I'm going to have to get at least one or two boosters for it. Um, those are the things. Once the cars go in, they have the rubber ends that are spinning. They'll help shoot the car around uh, where it's got it, wherever it's going to go, the intended spot. So I need to pick up at least a couple of those, but that'll be cool. I definitely want to do a road course. I've been, that was actually Nick Deaver suggested that last season. Definitely want to get that done. Uh, probably not this season, but going forward to next season. Would mind seeing a YouTube speed test slash race? Open wheel YouTube league. What are the qualifications needed for that? Well, I'm racing a uh, Indy 500 and then, uh, you know, after that, I'm not sure, but definitely Indy 500. The only qualifications are, there are no really qualifications because the Indy cars are hard to find. I said it could be, uh, the hot wheels ones they have out right now. Um, what is it? Winning formula, I think is the name of it. What's that super treasure hunt one out right now that like teal or green one with the orange golf. I think it is. Tampa's I'm not sure uh, it could be Hot Wheels too because there's just there's so few and far between of the Indy cars uh, I have more open wheel than stop really all right kickers are new and don't take batteries kickers are new don't be Indy 5 um, on those kickers will they kick you know, car after car after car. How does that work? The Gulf Super is the Indy 500 casting. Yeah, so, I mean, th that would work, too. Uh, entering it. We'll have more details on that for sure. Um, I think the kickers are only, it'll kick just one car through. Because I think I have one. I got a couple years ago. All right, let's see here. Moving along, sandwich bags. There is a pastrami and pepper jack. <laughs> I already said that earlier. I'm dumb. Sandwich bags. There is a truck series team full time drivers. Well, let's get to it, man. This is sick. Full time driver, Bill Lester. Nice. What is this from? 2005? Tundra. 
I think it's serial number two forty four three eight five. Here's Bill Lester. Checkers. And a waste management. He had a waste management uh, cup car, 2006, I believe. Let's see how he does on the small piece of a check I got. That doesn't show a whole lot. Meaning on that track. All right, what else we got? We got a uh, 09. Where's the 09? That's all right. That's his. You pick from my YouTube pick guy. All right. So this is oh sick. <laughs> Look at this. Matthew's at it again. See this thing. You can see the hunkin' metal lead or whatever that is in there. Nice. Oh yeah. Woo! This thing rolls good. This is sick. Look at those. Matthew Devers. So he'll be racing half the races. He'll be a part-time in the 09 car for uh, YouTube Cup. And he will be full-time driver in one of the unnamed truck series as of right now. <laughs> I had to do it. All right. The 08. Hey, we have our first lady driver in the truck series. Ultra wheels. In the 08 car, we have Michelle Devers. Nice. This is also racing champions. Yep, good roller. Any weight added to this? Not that I can tell. Pretty heavy. Huh. Shell Devers in the 08. And then part-time drivers, full-time truck. You pick from my YouTube. All right. Going in the 08. Look at this. Holy crap. Nice. This is the 63 Studebaker. The 80. Look at the red red lines. Wonder who donor or what uh, donor that was from. Yeah, I love it. Studebaker on the back on the tailgate. Nice truck. Any weight added to it? I wonder if there's anything underneath here. I'm not gonna mess with it. Looks to be a good roller. Man, Nick Deaver's got some nice entries for the truck races. I think I'm going to put them back in here. I got to get a whole new case for the trucks, guys, then. Nice and steady, she. That's how we do it. All right. Can't reveal Wendell Scott. So that's where the Indy car leave it right there. All right. What else we got here? Next sandwich. Bag new YouTube Cup team, which will be what the heck. Wow. Interesting. All right. New YouTube Cup team. Dang. <laughs> A lot of cars, man. Look at this guy. Racing champions. You got the king. Richard Petty. Love this car. Huh. 
What year is this? This has got to be, I'm going to guess, 70. Three or four charger? That is a cool looking car. <laughs> Look at that side. Looks like he's been rubbing paint with somebody or against the wall. This is clean as a whistle. Can't read. New. I got to start writing these down. I'm getting so many cars. It's crazy. The Chrysler right here. <laughs> Look at this. Tim Flock. Tim Flock. Johnny Lightning. This guy's pretty heavy. Got a small axles though. We shall see. Might have a tougher time on the turns, but not necessarily. A sick. I don't have a team name for these. It's a new YouTube Cup team. Not sure. Let's see. Oh, man. Dude, I can't wait to race this guy. Sick. One of the sickest race cars in the history of race cars, in my opinion. This was Donnie's. Donnie Allison. Number seven. I have not raced any of these old NASCAR cars. It is a mystery. Can't wait to do it, though. Uh, let's see. We got... Nice. <laughs> Here's Davey. We got Davey Allison. 28. This is Vinyl Tech. Yeah, this isn't even uh, Havilland. That's cool. Texaco. Nice. This workbench is getting full. And then to number 21, Buddy Biker. Nice. The Buick, I believe. That's oh, a Thunderbird. Nice. The Buick was, uh, that's Mike James, uh, number 11 car. Nice. All right, so that's a new YouTube Cup team. Richard Petty. Tim, what the flock? Uh, Where did we leave off at? Tim Flock. All right, yeah. The Donnie Allison. Davy Allison. These are blasts from the past right here. Buddy Biker. Avalon. Or Valvalin. Yeah. Yeah. Get late, man. We are almost done, though. Actually, no, we're not. <laughs> Let me put this team back in here. Doesn't... Doesn't have uh, a team name, so Nick, you see this video? 
go ahead and throw in team name now. We're an hour and 45 minutes into this. What the heck? So it's got to be like here. It's almost midnight, I think. I still haven't looked at Wendell Scott, new car. All right. One more sandwich bag of indie cars. And now I just can't stop yawning. Anybody still in here? I'm talking to myself. Let's see. Looks like I'm the only one in here. <laughs> and uh, we got uh, one more sandwich bag of Indy cars for the Indy 500 drivers can be determined by me. Oh, oh, leaving me in charge. Look out. Oh, yeah. Nice. Pretty good roller. Next up. Oh, sick. And the heart, eh? This is the no fear one. No fear. Fear is for the weak. Nice. This is car one. That's car one. That's all good. Here's another car one. Oh, crap. Eesh. Will he fit? I don't know. He might be too wide. Yeah, he's too wide. Oh, salt. I wonder if I can have time and all that between now and when that is going to run to create a track. Maybe I can still get him to fit. Maybe I'll make a track for it. I don't know. Sick car, though. Next up, this one. It's like that 10-spoke one. These guys, what the heck is this? <laughs> yeah, this isn't allowed. There's two drivers in here, two cars. Crazy Eights Racing, right here. What the heck is the name of this one? Hmm, is this a plastic base. This is a metal base. That's interesting. Yeah. So it looks like to me plastic base, metal base. Unless I'm mistaken. Pretty cool. Oh, cool. So we got another one of these. I have not raced these before. These are that Tyrell P34s. One there. Here's a generic Mick one. Fire Demon. <laughs> We got a crap load of cars on here. And here's more what I was talking about. Uh, this is an F1 racer. You got to allow these kind of cars. Even though they're Hot Wheels, it doesn't matter. I'm coming up on a 10 minutes short of two hours. That's ridiculous. And then last but not least, winning formula. These guys will be in the Indy 500 on the Sub 4 RA channel on YouTube. Let me put them back in here. No fear. Very sick.
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Not that anybody can hear me. So I'm the only one in here now, it looks like. And then here's what he's talking about here. I get it now. 70 number 43 serial cars, IROC series. Idea you can use or Richard Petty driving experience. All right, Dave Akers, peace out, buddy. I will try to have uh, day three results or the race up a little bit sooner than what I've had the last couple days. These are interesting. Oh, yeah, so it's to go red. John Andretti. These are all the same. Interesting. We'll have to figure out what we can do for these. Hmm. Have to figure this out, guys. So a lot of goodies tonight. A lot going on. We got the YouTube Cup and going into the next season. I think uh, we will. Uh, Got way more cars than, than I ever imagined. So I'm thinking uh, we'll have to do two different series uh, YouTube Cup and then another one. I mean, we're up to enough to definitely do it for a second series. Might not have as much in this, as in the first one. Maybe limit it to 35 and whoever wins a. YouTube Cup Junior Edition. And each particular week gets to go on to race um, in the YouTube Cup. So, all right, guys, that's gonna. I think that's gonna wrap it up here. I want to thank Julius Harris for his entry. He's got one NASCAR one. He's got two in. Didn't make them in for the deadline for uh, this March Madness, but uh, there's gonna be. Definitely more mail-in races coming very, very, very soon. So he's already got two in for that. Uh, thank you for the giveaway for the uh, NOS, excuse me, the YouTube Cup winner. Whichever driver wins and whoever owns that car, whoever sent that car in. Whoa, what I just do? what I just do? I don't know what I did. I did was... There, do that. Uh, whoever wins that series will have that. They'll uh, receive the one that he sent in, the M&M's car, as well as uh, – it's getting late. As well as uh, the two treasure hunts by Mike James and uh, that 69 Boss Mustang – Barrett Jackson one sent it by Kink and Steel, and then whatever else I throw in there. Um, and then obviously thank uh, Julius Harris, and obviously thank Nick Devers for the huge box of cars. A lot got a lot to do with those. I mean, there's a ton here. I don't even know how many. There's a good, even just a loose one sent in. There's don't know, twenty five or so. Not to mention all the other ones. Got another YouTube Cup team. So. Things are looking up for that series. Got the Indy cars in. Got truck series stuff going. John Mueller had already sent in this one. Thinking in advance, I think, of uh, truck series coming to the Sub 4 RA channel. That's it, guys. Uh, if you happen to see this and you're wanting to send in uh, cars to NASCAR or whatever, I'm going to send them to Rhino P.O. Box. 577-976 Modesto, California 95357 They will be open on YouTube um, They will be raced on YouTube as well So, as always guys Thanks for watching And we'll see you at the next one In stream